I wouldn't be shocked if we had a mammoth, you know, in a certain amount of time. Hi everyone, welcome back to E-Junkies and today we are going to be talking about Jurassic World Dominion. You might already know Jurassic World Dominion will see the new cast uh, of Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt be joined on screen by your original cast Sam Neill, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum and everyone is kind of looking forward to it. Dinosaurs have been released on Earth and are living amongst us and here to talk about all of this is the director Colin Trevorrow. Hi Colin, nice to meet you. Um, hey, Brian from Asia you, One Brian? Singapore. I'm good, I'm good. I hope you're doing well. Congratulations on the film uh, with Dominion. It's like the third film in the franchise over seven years and it's going to come out. So what does it feel like to kind of cross that finish line? Uh, you know, it's a film in need of an audience right now. And I know that right now we have journalists who are watching it oftentimes alone in a theater, which is not how movies are, are made to be seen. And so I don't think, I think movies have a soul to them and I don't think they actually come alive until they've been put in front of an audience. So I, I am anticipating that moment. Let's talk about the, the legacy characters. You know, um, we know the fandom can be very loud and passionate about the franchises. Are you concerned about reactions to, you know, how you handle these legacy characters? I have confidence because we all did it together. And so the, the characters that you're going to see on screen, the way that Ellie uh, and Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm are all portrayed comes from each of those actors. Uh, and, mm -hmm. you know, I did a lot of listening and we very carefully uh, created uh, the stories of, of where they'd been uh, over the past 28 years, um, where they are now, how they feel, how they look at the world. Uh, our plot is driven by Ellie Sattler and in, in, in what a paleobotanist would be doing right now. So hopefully it feels, you know, organic and authentic, which is, it's really all I can offer, you know? Okay. Chris recently mentioned that Dominion will be the end of the Jurassic World franchise. Um, but I'm just curious to hear from you. Do you envision like a cinematic universe and would you take the reins if you were offered? Well, me, no. Like me, I, I think I've, I've told my story in, in, uh, in the Jurassic World uh, universe. But right now there's there's some young filmmaker out there who, who has a totally new sandbox to play in with, with what we've created. So my goal with this was to, to shift you know, the balance of, of what these movies traditionally were to create opportunities uh, for another imagination to fire off. So if the audience asks for it uh, and there's a filmmaker who is impassioned by it as I was uh, and believes that there should be new movies as much as I did, then they should they should have that opportunity. You know, funny you mentioned Sandbox because, you know, I kind of like the setting in which you created where dinosaurs are living amongst humans. And I'm curious to hear from you, if you were placed in such a setting, how long do you think you'll survive? <laughs> well, it depends on where you are. Uh, you wouldn't want to go into their habitat. Uh, certainly not where they're, you know, if, if they're reproducing anywhere near that. Uh, you don't want to find an angry set of parents. In a lot of ways, I would feel the same way I do now, which is that we've got in the ocean, in the forests, in the jungles, there are, are animals in there that will kill you. Uh, and we all know that, and yet we still manage to go about our lives as humans. And I think if you just replace uh, or add to it by throwing dinosaurs into the mix, now there's just more animals that'll kill you if you go certain places. Okay, I know this has been debated about since Jurassic Park was released like almost 30 years ago. Taking into account that it's been 30 years since the first film, do you think, you know, humans have developed and evolved enough to the point where we can uh, hypothetically, you know, should they be allowed to clone dinosaurs and resurrect dinosaurs? You know, it's always something that I wonder if it's already happened and it's just out there somewhere. Uh, I think probably just based on the, the kind of DNA we have access to, it, it would be an animal that, you know, more of a Pleistocene animal, something we're much closer to, uh, you know, in, in natural history. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be shocked if we had a mammoth you know, in a certain amount of time. There's things frozen in the ice that as, uh, you know, as the planet warms, we may have access to DNA that we didn't in a long time. So we'll see. Run! See, not so bad. So we threw Colin some interesting questions and we got back some unexpected responses. But one thing that stood out for me was how he was very confident in how he brought the original characters back into the fold. And having watched the film, I can say that his confidence is not unjustified, okay? So if you want that dose of nostalgia or if you're somebody who just really, really loves dinosaurs, 
Jurassic World Dominion is the film for you and it releases in cinemas tomorrow, so don't forget to catch it. If you enjoyed this episode of E-Junkies, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss similar content from Asia One. I'll see you next time. Bye!